why is it that Jamaica and Jamaican Americans hmm. have had such an impact on hip hop? Because hip hop was in Jamaica first. <laughs> The reggae artist was rapping on that music back in the 70s and late 60s. Right? Mm. That was hip hop. Mm. And Cool Herc brought it to New York and hit the kids to it and said, okay, now this is Jamaican hip hop, New York rap. He would listen to a Dionne Warwick song and try to sing it exactly as Dionne did it. If you are a group, you would try to study the Supremes, Martha Reeves, and the Vandellas. If there was a group who com comes from abroad to our shores, we would want to go and see them because they have something to teach us. It, it all came from the American um, R&B music, you know, because we're always um, being influenced by the impressions, all them soul R&B groups. We start imitating the rhythm and blues songs like say, Smiley Lewis or Professor Long here or Louis Jordan and you know those kind of beat we try to imitate it. When we was playing the boogie boogie and the, the shuffle and thing like that we realized that we were definitely swatting or copying the American stuff. If we give Jamaica even you know half on the baby of hip hop. Uh, I'm gonna give 90% of hip hop to Jamaica. Man, get out of here! You gotta be out of your mind, man! We were definitely swatting or uh, copying the American stuff. We did some rhythm and blues. We tried to copy the rhythm and blues with that driving beat. Look at how much hip hop was influenced by reggae culture. We wouldn't have DJs. Toasting on the mic, that's right. A lot of toasting, you know. Did you get that idea from America? America, right. And then I got together with Count Machuki and, you know, would just toast to him like I've heard it on the radio station. Just playing the boogie woogie and the, the shuffle and thing like that, we realized that we were definitely swatting or uh, copying the American stuff but after playing and experimenting along the way we realized we could do something on our own and then just for that difference this is why we decide to really come up and stick to the scale so you thought we want to make some in jamaican some jamaican sound true jamaican sound a lot of toasting you know did you get that idea from America? America. Toasting on the mic, that's right. We wouldn't have the whole hip hop culture. Man, get out of here. You gotta be out of your mind, man. You, you better not have said that back then, it's Mr. Campbell. We start imitating the rhythm and blues songs, like, say, Smiley Lewis or Professor Long here, or Louis Jordan, and you know, those kind of beat. We tried to imitate it. It didn't turn out that way, so we decided to keep this as our own type. That's all that can come in. Where would hip hop be without Caribbean Americans? There wouldn't be no hip hop. Is that there would be no hip hop if it wasn't for Caribbeans? West Indians? No. Well, okay, so, and, and we're gonna, me and him are gonna say it the so, same time. Uh, no. no! Right. No, right. So, no, no, no. Styling like those was really rhythm and blues. What we did to this rhythm and blues is like you'll be doing one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. But the, the, the scanner we change it to one, two, three. And then it's more two, four, two, four, instead of one. It is Jamaica's first musical revolution. And we call it Skia. Hip hop was given birth to by Caribbean culture. Jamaica gave birth to hip hop. What is Busta Ron talking about? And what is he talking about? We don't have no culture. Then why are you over here? Not only that, why are you talking like us? Busta Rhymes, you over here dressing like us. That ain't Caribbean swag. Your grammar, you know how to talk like a Jamaican. You over here talking like us, using our slang, dressing like us. Okay, so they have their own culture. Culture refers to the sum total of social life. It includes language, beliefs, 
customs, norms, food, dress, and music. It is a set of normals held by a group of people. They have their own culture and their right. music and sound right, because right. like all different nationalities, right. they all have their own genre of right. music that caters to their nationality. Right. My Latino community, which allows me to feel that much more comfortable. Wait a minute, well, we haven't been influenced by no Latino community. What is you talking about? I know in 73, 74, and 75, there was no Hispanics b-boying then. Ruby Dean is the first Puerto Rican MC in hip hop. Yes. And he's from the Fantastic Five. And Whip a Whip is Puerto Rican. And, mm -hmm. and, and Whip didn't even want the people, Whip didn't even want the members of the group that he was Puerto Rican then because he thinks right. he was going to be accepted. They have their own culture. Culture exists anywhere humans exist. And no two cultures are exactly the same. We've started talking about culture in another lesson and discussed its combination of elements that together form a people's unique way of life. West Indians came over here with their sound system and they started hip hop, right? Sound systems became the biggest local industry in downtown Kingston and competition was fierce. To pull in the punters, you had to have the best music blasting out of your system. The race was on for the hottest American tunes. I'm Clement Dodd better known as Sir Cox and Downbeat, Master of the Royal Society of Jazz, and King of Sound Systems. So, so where did you get the idea to go to America? Well, in the early days, it was a popular um, thing of the recruiting men for Florida. While I was there, I sent um, the amplifier. I sent diagram of how like the box to be built. Then my old lady got involved, gave out the boxes, and she just started. She, as a matter of fact, she was the, the very first female DJ in Jamaica. And uh, weekend, you know, when you go party. They mix a lot with the Americans. So have you ever it would be jukeboxes. I get ideas from some of the jukebox, you know, to build these boxes. Uh, West Indians came over here with their sound system and they started hip hop, right? No, no. Hip -hop. Hell no. no. I'm going to say it. You are no. going to say it again? Okay, I'm not going to say no. I'm going to say hell no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Notice when you have brothers like that, people who were there, people who were there during the real formation of hip hop, notice they always say the same thing. It was just us. It was just black people. Wasn't none of these other groups around. 